and press. Set deep. This spray isn't for cold relief. It's delivering oxytocin to the brain. Norwegian firm Optinos says the hormone can improve the social function of sufferers of psychiatric disorders like autism and schizophrenia. Deep enough. To operate the, the device, the patient uh, inserts the device into the mouth and into one nostril. The patient takes a deep breath, closes the lips around the mouthpiece and exhales into the device. The airflow carries the drug particles deep into the nose beyond uh, the nasal valve. You must blow hard to get the medicine. You should feel the medicine go deep inside your nose. You are able to get the drug higher uh, and more posterior into the nasal cavity, so you are able to reach a larger fraction of the nasal uh, mucosa and also to get a higher fraction up to the upper part of the nose, which is essential to achieve uh, nose-to-brain transport. It also allows small doses to be delivered, which Optinos believes may be safer for patients. University of Oslo scientists tested Optinos twice daily on a group of males. What we did in our experiment is that we presented people with pictures of faces. Some of these faces were angry, some of them were happy, or some of them had a neutral expression. And in our experiment we asked people to rate how angry or how happy these people were. In our experiment, we found that people who, who were administered a low dose of intranasal oxytocin rated the neutral faces as less angry compared to when they were given the placebo spray. Do not Those receiving oxytocin also proved less likely to avoid the gaze of people they were talking to, a potential sign of social dysfunction. Users with larger nasal cavities responded best. Further tests are planned before the device is medically approved to administer oxytocin just right.